Hi, this is Brooke, and I'm wanting to share with you some teachings of the medicine wheel. What I'm going to offer is simple, and yet I believe it's profound because all cultures have a sense of wholeness and holiness. They all recognize that there's this great circle of life. Perhaps we should even say a sphere of life. And yet it's difficult for our human mind to perceive of the wholeness of that. It's just really way beyond our capacity in some ways. So what I think is that cultures have created ways to help us honor that profound truth but in a way that we can, can grasp it more fully. In the, one of the Native American ways, I believe it's the Apache people talk about four attentions. And I know the Toltecs and others have this same kind of concept. There are four attentions. The first attention is to the physical body. The second attention is to everything else you can pay attention to, whether it's seeing what's outside or hearing a sound or wondering what's happening or thinking, oh my gosh, I need to check on my children, whatever it might be. The third attention is often seen as a great eagle with a red eye that eats up our attention. And it's really about how we spend our attention and our, our energy in the world. And the fourth one, is holiness. The fourth attention is about that great wholeness and we're being asked to put a part of our attention on that at all times so that we're walking in a sacred manner. So that oneness and connection is really important to recognize and honor. You know, in our earth family, we're realizing that we rise or fall together. And it's really the same with the whole family of life. And so to honor and recognize it is really important. And the recognizing of the wheel of life, the four directions uh, or the seven directions as I may share with you uh, is often used at the beginning of ceremonies. It's a wonderful way to put ourselves in place, to ground ourselves and to stand very powerfully and move forward from there. So it kind of makes logical sense to start in the East. The East is morning, it's dawning. It's the, it's the morning star, Venus. Dawn, the light arising. And so it's the light arising, coming into the light. It's the time when things come into the light. For instance, a sprout, boop, 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 up it comes. Or a child is birthed into the light of day in the east, in the dawning time. So springtime, dawn, birthing, newness. Aha, the light coming on, the light coming in one way or the other. A new idea, a new way. So the East is very powerful for us to really recognize that beginning. And in the way that I work with, I call that the, the little masculine. It's like, boop, there comes that little sprout, that little child, but it's aggressive, it's moving, it's upward, it's active. And so the East is the little masculine. And we can think of it as a beginning because here we get ideas. We go, aha, I know what I'm, I'm gonna do. I know the project or I just realized something and now that's gonna make a difference for me. So to honor that, that part of the wholeness of life is really profound. And every culture, every group, all the different Native American tribes and people honor that circle and even the East in perhaps a different way with different colors or different energies. But it's so important that that is acknowledged in whatever way and whatever way you choose. 
So let's take a moment. Grandfathers, grandmothers of the East, thank you so much for this day that begins early with that dawning star Venus. The eagle is seen flying into the East, picking up the dawning light and love and carrying it across the sky. And so we give thanks for eagle and that beauty. We give thanks for light and newness, for birthing, for children, for growing, for the magic of sprouting and things coming new into our lives. So we're giving honor to that. We're remembering it. We're inviting it consciously into our lives and saying, aho, thank you. Thank you, my relatives. Thank you, grandfathers, grandmothers. Thank you for the blessing of the East.